Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 56. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to force a query to use an index scan over a table scan operation. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is simple. We want to force a query to use an index scan operation over a table scan operation. So for some reason, the DB2 optimizer chooses a table scan, let's say, uh, uh, despite there being an index. but DB2 optimizer is almost always good in what it is doing. So uh, never try to, uh, you know, modify its behavior or try to, you know, override the optimizer uh, uh, decisions. So it is usually not uh, required. Okay. But in some, uh, you know, uh, uh, weird cases or uh, for some testing, you want to force this particular index over uh, a table scan, right? So that time, so how to uh, use it, like how to force the optimizer uh, to use that particular index over a table scan operation. So the solution for that is you can create something called as an optimization profile. Okay. So the optimization profile, once you create and set it and configure in the database, it can override the optimizer decisions. So it will influence the optimizer decisions. So the optimizer profile is nothing but an XML document describing the guidelines for the optimizer thereby influencing the access plan generation so whenever some query is executed the access plan will be generated by the optimizer right so that time uh, it will uh, refer to that particular optimization profile and it will uh, act the optimizer itself will choose a, a plan accordingly okay so not only this particular operation uh, optimization profile using optimization profile you can do a lot of things please refer to knowledge center or some developer works articles on on these things uh, because it's a vast topic by itself uh, so certain operations like i can say for example force an index scan over a table scan i can swap the inner and outer tables in a join operation like when i say table t1 comma table t2 like that right so when i join uh, uh, two tables i can make uh, a particular table to be inner table and particular table to be outer table so i i'll be able to do that using this optimization profile and I can even influence the type of join. Like I want to prefer a hash join uh, instead of a nested loop join, right? So like that also I can uh, uh, override the uh, uh, access plan or override the optimizer decisions, okay? So let's see uh, how this works in an uh, example. So that way it will be somewhat more clearer for you, okay? So here I'm just connecting to sample database. I'm creating a table test. I'm creating a table best. Uh, it is having id comma name okay and employee id comma first name like that so an, an integer column and a name column and i'm creating an index on test table okay and i'm inserting few sample records so one two three three first three records are for test next three records are for best tables okay and after that i'm doing run stats and uh, on both the tables and uh, since the test table has indexes i'm also collecting the index statistics so let's quickly first do all uh, this thing okay Okay, I'm already connected to database, create table, create table, insert the data, uh, run stats. So everything got successful. So our base tables and structures are ready. Okay. Now the next thing I should do is create an optimization profile. So how do I, so the, for storing optimization is nothing but a optimization profile is nothing but an XML document. So that XML document has to get stored in some table, right? So that is this one. Okay. So I'm going to create the table that is required for the optimization profile. Okay. The, the XML document should be saved. Okay. So I'll use that. So I called this sys install objects procedure. Uh, and I'm saying like OPT underscore profiles and C means create. So it should have created me one particular table. So I'll say DB2 describe table sys tools dot opt underscore p r o f i l e okay so it should have created me uh, a particular table sys tools dot opt underscore profile and uh, you can see that there is a schema uh, so under which schema uh, this particular object is belonging to and the name of the object so the name is the name of the optimization profile and the profile is a blob column and another column called profile that's a blob column so you can see that uh, that is the XML document that I'm talking about. So we need to upload now. Okay. So we need to uh, import data into this OPT profile table, right? So what is that I'm going to do? See here. Oh. 
So how I am going to do that? So db2 import from my opt dot del of del modified by lobsyn file uh, insert into sys dot opt profile. So here I am importing uh, some data here. So I I show you that first. Let me run that. Okay. So the import is successful. Now two rows are uh, imported. Okay. So so I'll even show you what is the imported rows. Okay. So now you can see the two two rows which are there. Okay. Which are got imported. Okay. So you can see the name, schema, and profile column. So uh, DB2 INST1 dot my opt. That is one optimization profile. DB2 INST1 dot my join. So that is the second optimization profile. The exact profile, what what that profile XML document that is actually stored in the profile column, and, and you can see that it is some uh, hexadecimal, like it's a blob data, right? So it's not visible. So I'll show you that. So the del file that I imported, right? First I'll I'll show you the del file. So this is the my opt dot del file. Okay. So here you can see db2 inst1 my opt. So this is the schema name dot profile name. And this is that profile object that I'm talking about. In the blob column, this particular XML file is only getting imported. So there are two profiles we have created. Uh, so one is myopt.xml, another one is myjoin.xml. So two profiles under the name db2inst1.myopt, db2inst1.myjoin. Okay. I'll show you those XML files also. So you can see here myopt.xml. So this is an optimization profile. This is that profile object that is getting stored in the uh, blob column okay so it contains it is just just an xml document so opt profile opt profile inside that there is a statement profile so here here is what that magic happens so select id comma name from test order by id so for this particular statement i am saying optimization guidelines so uh, ix scan so when you are accessing this test table go for an index scan instead of a table scan and use this particular index That's, that is what i am saying here so if i normally run this query right it will go through a table scan okay but since my guidelines are set it up in this profile file like that it should use the index scan operation so similarly for join here see select name comma f name test uh, comma best table i am joining so when i am executing this query this is the outer table and this is the inner table so b means best t means test so uh, if it runs without the optimization profile, probably my uh, outer table will be uh, test like that, right? So that will be influenced. That behavior also will be influenced. Similarly, in my join.xml, I am saying for that same query, I am influencing. See, instead of here, I am saying nested loop join. See, NL join, right? So whereas here, I am saying hash join. So if I am using this particular profile, right? It will the same query will use hash join. If I use my join dot XML, right? That if I use that particular optimization profile, then it should use a nested loop join. Okay, so that is the whole uh, idea behind this. Okay, so it's the same query, but based on the optimization profile that gets applied, the access plan will also be differing. Okay, so uh, let me show you everything uh, in a demo right now. Okay. So we have uploaded the data. So we have created the profiles. Okay. Now let us generate an explain plan and see. Very simple, right? So I am saying db2 explain hyphen d uh, sample uh, database hyphen t statement. So this is the statement for which I want to uh, uh, generate the explain plan. And hyphen g means that uh, graph option. Okay. So now let us just run that and I will show you that. Okay. See here it is going through a table scan. See the query. I am accessing select ID comma name from test order by ID like that, right? So usually it will go with the table scan only, right? So even though I have created the optimization profile, still it is not using that index, right? So why it is not using the index means I have to generate the access plan like this. See db2 explain hyphen d sample hyphen t the same statement hyphen g also i am saying hyphen setup opt dot sql like that see here that is important thing okay see now it is using index so for the same query for the same table for the same operation now instead of using a table scan it is using an index scan right you can see that it is using index scan for fetching the data and obviously for there will be a fetch so that it can access the table as well so it is using the my index that was specified 
so what is the difference here the difference here is this one see here only i am saying like uh, set current optimization profile equal to my opt so that is what i am showing here actually uh, my opt opt dot sql okay so in this file i am saying set current optimization profile equal to my opt right so uh, so when i generate the explain plan right see here i am saying hyphen setup opt dot sql so which means that particular profile the uh, optimization profile will be applied for this query right when it is trying to generate the explain access plan okay so that is when it is generating the explain okay so that you have to do okay so even when you are executing the query also like normally you have to first execute this particular set optimization profile statement you have to execute this sql first after only then you have to execute the actual sql then only it will use that particular optimization profile and when it is using that particular optimization profile it will automatically use um, you know the, the the optimizer will use the plan that you are specifying so let us so, so we have just did that see here set current up so this has to be done then only the plan will be accordingly using that profile as well okay now let's go to the next example uh, which is the join uh, kind of an example so let us first run without anything okay so without any optimization profile so you can see that test best like that both are table scan operations and it is a hash join okay now what i'll do is so it is a hash join with outer table test inner table best like that right now look at what happens so i'm using the setup opt.sql so it is using a different optimization profile now so you can see that now best became came here and test became so it has swapped the inner and the outer tables like that but the operator is the same hash join only but the swap has occurred why this has occurred because we have defined the xml that way right now uh, we'll uh, do one more thing uh, so we'll use a different join uh, sorry we'll use a same query only but we'll influence the join operation see hyphen setup join dot sql i'm saying right so in join dot sql what i'm giving see here optimization profile my join so the my join xml what it is saying my join xml is saying what let us go there so my join xml okay, it's going to take some time so the my join xml is going to say nested loop join see here for the same query i have defined to use nested loop join so let's just quickly run that and see okay see here now it is using nested loop join right so instead of a hash join it is using nested loop join so these are the ways by which you can uh, influence the uh, uh, the the optimizer for uh, accordingly so that it can choose a plan or it can force an index it can force joins like type of joins it can swap inner out and uh, it can swap inner and uh, outer tables and it uh, it can also do a lot of other things there are uh, you know uh, it's a it's a huge topic by itself so i this is just going to be like a quick start for you like you know just to let you know okay uh, this optimization profile is there so using which you can uh, influence the optimizer uh, and it can act accordingly like that okay so i hope this information was useful to you uh, thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy see you in the next video tutorial until then thanks bye bye